I'm 30 years in a wheelchair. Absolutely, I'm very supportive of a day in my wheels. I think it's important that people who are not in daily contact with wheelchairs or with wheelchair users just get a little bit of an insight into the kind of challenges that we face. My expectations going into it were that it would be a little bit difficult, but I'd overcome it. I'd go about my day and that didn't happen. <laughs> All right, yeah, good tip, thanks. All right, now I'm trying to figure this out on my own. Actually, could I get a hand? <laughs> thanks. I say it's, I get out of it if it's really bad, but I should really stay in it. No way I would come down this street. Absolutely no way. So I, I thought it was a great initiative because it gave greater exposure to the, to the struggles that, uh, that wheelchair users and people with disabilities face on a daily basis because of uh, infrastructure or lack of infrastructure that, that caters for people with disabilities. So when I was approached, uh, I was very happy to sort of be an ambassador of, of the campaign in that sense and to help uh, sort of train the able-bodied uh, individuals who are going to sit in a chair for a day. You know. You really are relying a lot on um, kindness of people too, aren't you? When you're on your own. And I'm the type of person that kind of likes to do things myself. Like I, I'm really independent. And even when you make plans, I mean, you still have to book four hours in advance for the dart. You know, not all taxis, in fact, very few taxis can take a wheelchair. Loneliness, entrapment, vulnerability, embarrassment, that feeling of losing your spontaneity. And also on the positive side, feeling incredibly loved by my family, the kindness of strangers, the empathy of strangers, but it was a real labyrinth of, of emotions. The Spinal Injuries Ireland contacted me um, to see if they could come on board with A Day in My Wheels. Its original concept was to challenge perception around a disability, yeah, also to challenge politicians to spend 24 hours in a wheelchair. We're living in a 2021 Ireland um, where I'd hope diversity and inclusion is coming to form more and more and I know it, and I know it is. This is another way of creating awareness and, and inclusion for people with disabilities and um, getting the general public on board. It's little small things that kind of accumulate throughout the day and, 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 and definitely knock my confidence. Like I did a viewing, I'm an estate agent, I work with Sherry Fitzgerald. I did a viewing and I wasn't able to go upstairs and I was kind of talking to, to Sharon who was, who was attending the viewing. The uh, from, she was in the attic, I was in the ground <laughs> floor and again it's here. just a little bit demoralising. If you want to have a look around, um, it would be, is it for yourself or is it an investment? No, or? It's for me. Okay, perfect. Yeah, no, it's a great, great opportunity to have a family home. So have a look upstairs, so you can convert one of the bedrooms. One of them is quite small. You can knock into the, to the wall at the, at the rear. You prefer to be able to do it yourself and just be kind of on a level playing field rather than kind of be let down by infrastructure and, and be kind of forced to rely on someone else. So that adds up and then I found myself 100% by the end of the day. My confidence was a little bit rattled and, and, um, and it's, just, it, it, it's something again that I can imagine would accumulate and would have a, a, a serious effect on morale. Okay. Okay. Oh. Does yeah. that go on me? Or that goes on you. I have to go up in the path. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's enough, isn't it? um, no, it's okay. My fingers, my knuckles are cut. I'm okay, I'm in. Yeah. No. It's probably not tougher than I thought, but I knew it was going to be tough. But I think on my arms, just here, I'm really feeling it, you know, just trying to keep that motion going. So I'd say I'll be stiff as a board tomorrow, but I'm, I'm okay. I'm all right. So little things that you would normally have personal control over were completely gone. If you multiply that out by countless things that happen to you during the course of the day, then it must be extremely frustrating. I had a spinal injury when I was 18. I was in a car crash, broke my back, fractured my 11th vertebrae. Inches in the difference of having one of these for life. 
So I remember like I was on a stretcher for 12 hours, they x-rayed and the doctor said, you know, you're very lucky Mr. Hughes, an inch in the difference and I'd be showing you a pair of wheels. I mean, so, you know, to think about uh, how different life can be. I have to say that was my smoothest maneuver I've ever done. I'm getting good. Again, that was one of the other massive eye openers was just little small interactions, people staring at you for maybe a couple of seconds longer than they would normally. Excuse me, could you be able to just grab that juice, please? And it makes, uh, makes you reflect sometimes, do, do, okay. do you do that personally when, when you have interactions? And, and it's definitely something that I'll, I'll be, I don't think I did personally, but it's, it's something I'll be very conscious of um, going forward. I think um, most people in society uh, make the assumption that wheelchair users are confined to their wheelchair. And I, I, I think if you ask any wheelchair user whether that's true or not, I, I think that they will tell you it, it isn't. And in, in fact, it's almost a chariot of independence. It enables us to live our lives how we please. You shouldn't have to actually get into a chair in order to make a statement to provide the right supports, the right infrastructure for people with disabilities. Because it could happen to any one of us. And I think that's the key as well, that it could happen to anybody. When we listened to the stories yesterday, somebody falling off a wall, somebody having an injury through sport. So I think we, we as a society have to be more accepting that things happen Happen and we should all be aware and you know show those clear skills on a daily basis. We don't want sympathy. That's the least what we want. We want empathy. And I'd hope that a day my wheels will create empathy towards people with disabilities.